The 2024 presidential election is just months away. If you're thinking about potentially buying or selling a home, you're probably curious about what effect, if any, elections have on the housing market. Hi, I'm Susan Halk with the Selling Spires Group and Remax Aspire. It's a great question. Historically, presidential elections have only had a small, temporary impact on the housing market. Here's the latest on what's happened to home sales, prices, and mortgage rates throughout those time periods. During the month of November, in years when the presidential election takes place, there's typically a slight slowdown in home sales. As Ally Wolf, chief economist at Zonda, explains, usually home sales are unchanged compared to a non-election year, with the exception being November. In an election year, November is slower than normal. This is mostly because some people feel uncertain and hesitant about making big decisions during such a pivotal time. However, this slowdown is temporary. Historically, home sales bounce back in December and continue to rise the following year. In fact, data from the Department of Housing and Urban Development and the National Association of Realtors shows after nine of the last 11 presidential elections, home sales went up the next year. What about home prices? Do they drop during election years? Not typically. As residential appraiser and housing analyst Ryan Lundquist puts it, an election year doesn't alter the price trend that is already happening in the market. Home prices are pretty resilient. They generally rise year over year regardless of elections. The latest data from NAR shows after seven of the last eight presidential elections, home prices increased the following year. The only year when prices declined after an election was during the housing market crash, which was far from a typical year. Today's market is different than it was back then. Mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are important because they affect how much your monthly payment will be. Looking at the last 11 presidential election years, data from Freddie Mac shows mortgage rates decreased from July to November in eight of them. Most forecasts predict mortgage rates to ease slightly throughout the remainder of the year. If they're right, this year will follow the trend of declining rates leading up to most previous elections. This could be good news as lower rates could mean a lower monthly payment. So while presidential elections do have some impact on the housing market, the effects are usually small and temporary. As Lisa Sturdivant, chief economist at Bright says, Historically, the housing market doesn't tend to look very different in presidential election years compared to other years. For most buyers and sellers, elections don't have a major impact on their plans. For up-to-date market information and guidance, reach out to my team and I. We are here to support you every step of the way. I'm Susan Halk with the Selling Aspires Group and Remax Aspire. And remember, when you do what you love, people love what you do. Love where you live. Let's chat.